What up gamers, hope all is well, and today I want to talk a little bit about my experience with the new DLC, Burning Shores. I know I'm a little behind, but typically this channel doesn't keep up with the rest of the gaming world when it comes to trending things I want to try and uh, do, but I don't. <laughs> so... With that being said, I have been playing a DLC, and I got to tell you, there were so many times in that DLC, just like it was in Forbidden West, where you just kind of have to stop and admire what the team at Guerrilla Games has done with the Decima engine. I mean, it's just incredible. Um, it's a beautiful, lush, detailed environment. and some of the bosses, the weapons, uh, the characters that you play with and that you meet, um, just incredible. Just incredible. I'd, I'm still astonished at what it is to take in this world, right? And with the DLC, I mean, they just, it seems like they took it up another notch. Um, now that they're leaving behind, finally you know, previous generations and they're focusing now more on, you know, current generation PS5. So the cloud system, I just, I was blown away how beautiful that is. Uh, I know I'm just bouncing around everywhere, but um, let's go ahead and just talk just quickly on you know, when Aloy finds love. What I love about that scenario was that the devs left it up for us to choose what we want to do. Obviously, our curiosity is going to take us down the obvious path. But you got to admit that, I mean, I didn't see that coming. So for me, that was beautiful. Um, the fact that they, that, you know, the choice was ultimately up to us. I think there's three options. And, you know, depending on what you choose is what's going to happen. So anyway, I just wanted to touch on that. And I know there's a lot of you who aren't okay with the narrative and, you know, I the way I choose to look at it guys is um I chose to buy the game, I chose to buy the DLC, um and the developers chose to put in a story. And that story at least has choices. Now, I would have been upset, let's say if uh if their marketing would have, you know, thrown in the kissing scene and and this and that, and you got to download it because this is what's gonna be waiting for you, you know. But it was very hush hush. It was it was kept under a very hush hush, uh, you know, scenario, and everybody was pretty much just like taken back for it. So, do they have an agenda? I don't think they do, personally, because if they did then they would be educating us on it and marketing us on it and selling us and trying to sell us this viewpoint. But but for me, and this is just my opinion, this is just what I'm saying, is that I don't think they were trying to do that. Within the story, they sold us this set moment. But they knew that not a lot of people would be on board, so they gave us choices. And I really like that. I really like that. So that's the way I'm going to leave it. Uh, if you haven't bought a PS5 or if you're on the fence and you think that the DLC and Forbidden West is the moment to, do, to go and get one, I highly suggest you do. Um, I'm personally telling you that I think it's a great game um, and that it has just the potential to be, uh, you know, game of the year. 
and and based on the DLC alone. But that's just me. What are your thoughts? What are your comments? Uh, do you see it that way? Do you even care? I know most of you don't, and some of you do, and that's okay. But what are your thoughts? Leave me comments below. Another thing that I want to talk about is that Forbidden West uh, has come pretty much to a close in regards to what we've been given so far. But yes, there is a new Forbidden or a Horizon game, third installment coming. Um, why do we know that? Well, it's easy because they actually announced it as um, they dropped a hint as the studio director and executive producer Angie Smets uh, was moving to a new role at PlayStation Studios as head of development and strategy. They did say that they were working on this installment. Alongside that news, they also said that they were working on a project where, quote unquote, friends will be able to explore the majestic wilds of Horizon together. So, yeah, you know, there is my understanding is that there's this third installment going to happen. And then there's going to be this multiplayer. And one's going to be, you know, a full on game. And then the other project is going to be like a multiplayer where they explore different worlds of Horizon. I I'm not sure how to measure that yet. Uh, so I'm just giving you my take on that. Very excited about it because I love horizon i think it's a it's a great uh you know developer i gorilla team is amazing and i just can't wait to see what they do let me know if you're excited about the third installment or about this new project that they're talking about what are your thoughts leave me your comments below also let's get into star wars jedi survivor it already came out uh, I need to know your thoughts. I haven't played it yet. I want to. Um, I'm on the fence a little bit. I think I'm going to wait for a couple patches, maybe one, maybe two, because I've heard that on PS5, there's some performance uh, issues going on. I heard that the PC is an utter mess. Uh, maybe not completely, but... It's worse on PC. So, uh, one things that I one some of the things that I did notice about it were the visuals were very good. The gameplay seemed to really uh, just be more refined than the other version that we got, the first one. And so, I'm really excited to play. Are you guys gonna play it? Let me know. Are you playing it now? What do you think about it? Where are you playing? Are you playing it on PC? Are you playing it on PS5? Where where are you playing it? And I want to know, um, is it as bad as people are saying? And should I play it? Should I download it? Should I go for it? Let me know your thoughts and comments below. Finally, I do want to talk about Redfall. I think... It deserves a space because we are pretty much at launch. I was first hearing that it was going to come out May 2nd, which is not today because this is May 1st. But then I heard that it was going to drop like 9 Pacific time. So I guess a little bit early, maybe an hour or so, depending on where you guys are at. And, man, I got to say, the reviews are starting to come out at the same time that the game is being um, coming out to play. That's my first red flag. When a game comes out and, you know, you don't get reviews a week before or even a day or two before and you get them the same night, 
that the game actually releases, that's a little bit worrying. That's a little concerning. I will be honest with you guys. I am not going to play Redfall. It just doesn't interest me as a whole. Um, I've never really given too much attention to Arcane um, and past games that they've done. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm just not a fan. Um, I'm curious, though, with all of the reviews that have been coming out and everybody giving this game, like, I saw, man, like a 6 out of 10. I saw another place give it, I think it was like a 4. And I heard what they had to say. It just really... You really got to wonder what Microsoft is doing. You really do got to wonder. And I don't want to make this too long, but, you know, to all my Xbox fans out there, I'm not, I can't, guys, I'm not here to attack Xbox owners or fans. I am not truly an Xbox fan. I can't say that I am. But I respect the game. I respect the hustle that people have with the system. And I respect that people love the console and, and what it means to them. That That's important. So I think what I'm trying to say, guys, is just, you know, we need to demand more from our developers, from our leaders in these developments, Sony and Microsoft. Uh, I know that when a game sucks on Sony, I just simply come out and say, it. like, yeah, it wasn't the best. Like, for instance, uh, Forspoken. It just wasn't the best game. And I saw that coming. I saw it coming, and I'm a fan. I'm a fan of new developers. I'm a fan of, you know, trying new things. But as soon as I saw the gameplay, I was like, oh, man, this is... This is not going to go too well. Now, the visuals were nice, and the story kind of seemed like it was there, hit or miss. But this isn't about for spoken. And I know we can probably dive deep into that. But, guys, I really, you know, if you're a fan and you're getting games like Redfall and, you know, Hi-Fi Rush, which was a nice game. It, it was cool. And you're getting games like Psychonauts and, and you know, I, I don't know. As a fan, let's say I'm trying to get into the shoes of a fan. And as a fan, I just think, you know, where is my next gen AAA games? What does it mean to have a AAA next gen game? And I think we should, you know, demand that these developers and Xbox give us more. It's not it's not cool what they're doing. I mean, they launched at 38 frames per second. It's a first-person shooter. The story is bad. I'm talking about Redfall. The gameplay is boring. Everything is dull. I mean, these are this is coming from fans. This ain't coming from me. This is coming from people who love the platform and we're going to play it day one. So let's... It's good. Con and, and you may be wondering, well... Why do you care, right? Like, why do you care? Like, you know, let it be. Well, I do care because the more competitive that Xbox is, the more competitive Sony is. And competition, guys, is healthy. It is. It, it, you look at anywhere where competition is, and it's healthy to be competitive. Wrestling, basketball, football, soccer. I mean, the the list goes on and on. So it it does help to go up to your developers or go up to, you know, Microsoft and be like, we're not satisfied. You asked us to pay $500 for a console. You asked us to get Game Pass, which is like 15 bucks a month. You asked us for all these things. And yet we're not seeing quality. We're seeing maybe quantity, but even at that point, Xbox really hasn't had a win 
Except for maybe Hi-Fi Rush. If you want to call that a win, okay, fine. But guys, let's, I mean, seriously, though. Um, you know, we got we to gotta put the bar up more. We, we got to ask, we got to let Microsoft know that you guys are not satisfied. Anyway, this video went a little bit into a tangent. Uh, but I just want to say, like, you know, we, we need to speak up. Anyway, what do you guys think about all this? Uh, I appreciate you guys staying till the end. I may even have what's called a throwback Thursday where I play some of my favorite retro games that I've um, played throughout my life. So I don't know. What do you guys think about the video? Let me know in the comments below. I really appreciate you guys sticking around. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you find this video informative and interesting and you would like to hear more. I'm trying to grow my channel and get back into the game. And though I am a little bit slower than other people, I appreciate you guys bearing with me as I will be putting out more and more content as time goes by. Thanks so much for your time. Have a great night.